Southern Sudan is the youngest nation in this world, and the people of Sudan entered into this independence with great hope. But unfortunately, for the past five years, Southern Sudan has been riven by civil war. And because of this conflict, because of the war, the common man, the everyday man, is the one that has to pay the price. More than 400,000 people have died, and over 3.5 million people have been refugees. They have had to flee southern Sudan. The overwhelming majority of these people have come into Uganda. Those people that fled were mainly women and children. When we were there, it was really obvious. You could see at least 70% of the population of BDBD are women and children. So many people that have given us testimonies. Some of them were giving up in life, having lost their relatives due to the war that's currently going on. It's a very big burden. They have lost hope, but the scriptures, they give a hope to them. There's such despair that you can see on the eyes of the people. But one thing I thank God for is the power of the Word of God. It is living and active. And we saw literally that the Word of God is able to transform the despair, to transform the hopelessness of these people into a hope that is beyond description. The Proclaimer has been such a wonderful tool in the lives of the refugees in the camps. The Word of God in your mother tongue can never be compared to anything else. We met people who literally hugged and held the Proclaimers close to their heart and saying, this is my father, this is my mother, this is everything to me. Jesus is real. Lives are being impacted and they will continue being impacted because of that word. I was really impressed by their ability to trust God for anything and they trust that God is able to handle the situation that they have. <laughs> The scripture says, in this world you will have trouble, but I give you my peace that where I am, you may also be. It's a very big blessing. When they come, they listen together with their children. What involves people and what makes them get meaning in groups is the proclaimer. <laughs> They seem to have a, a higher sensibility to the voice of God. A readiness, which you could actually see in their physical posture. Mm -hmm. 
We met people who could tell their story with a smile. How can you talk about losing everything you had and yet have a smile on your face? Because they have received something that is a greater value than everything that they had before. God is taking care of us and this is not going to last forever. We'll come through this. I saw that aspect of hope that was brought by the audio scripture. It has so much encouraged them. Such a powerful tool.